What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So in this one in particular, we are actually going to go over to Rose and talk to her and see if we can create a friendly meeting between us and the Raiders so that we can hopefully get them inoculated. So um, we already did the whole foundation portion of it where we basically talked to the leader of foundation and got them on board, uh, essentially. So now it's the Raider side. So if you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. All right, let me see here. Let's go ahead. Well, let's actually go ahead and <clears throat> check over here. We might as well just fast travel. Actually, we should probably fast travel to our place. <clears throat> And then fast, tra and then uh, either a fast travel or b just run straight there since it's pretty close. Uh, seeing as it's probably a hell of a lot closer, and it's gonna save me a lot of money instead of just fast traveling straight there, you know. <clears throat> I kind of miss that camp every once in a while. I still have that character, but I don't use him anymore because he was really, really bugged. Um, but yeah, I really liked him. Oh well. I like my new character better now. <clears throat> Alright, where are we at? Alright, we're back at the camp. Old Glory right there. Look how beautiful she is. And some random dude just sitting on my bed on my thing or whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and uh well let's see. Six caps? Eh yeah, sure, why not? <clears throat> this way we'll get there. Um pretty much for a cheaper price. If it was six caps to get there from where we were right there by our camp, it was probably going to be like 20 or 30 caps from where I was over there in Foundation. But of course, I'm just guesstimating. <clears throat> That's this character, by the way. I had every plans to like make him all Raider-ish, but then I was like, eh, you know what? Nah. Once they gave us that one outfit, that, uh, <clears throat> this outfit that you get, um, for playing before Wastelanders comes out or came out was really worth it, man. Like, it actually changed my opinion on the character, on like what he's gonna dress and stuff like that. Because this this outfit, in my opinion, is one of the best outfits in the game. As far as aesthetic goes, you know? Alright, let's go ahead. Here, let's switch views, because I can't see shit, dude. <clears throat> Alright, where are we at? All right, and then we'll come this way. Hey, Rose, talk to me. Well, well, look who it is. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd show up. Not that I'm a stalker or anything. I totally saw you heading my way. So, stalker. <laughs> what's on your mind? You miss me? Yeah, you can say that, I suppose. Um, <clears throat> your plan worked. The Raiders are back. Like there was any doubt. I knew it wouldn't be long once I got the signal boosted. Well, I mean, I need you to get me in touch with the Raiders. Right to the point, huh? Yep. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on a good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. Well, are you? Um, can you tell me more about Meg? Meg thinks she's pretty tough since she ran off on Margie. She wasn't even around to see the end of it all. Bet she's loving the fact that they bailed at the perfect time. So she's bound to be way up on her high horse right about now. Uh, well, alright, let's hear the plan. I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which, I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Um, well, where's, uh, 
the memorial. Yeah, about that. Damon sorta of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft, and well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. Sure, I. You gotta why not? To David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. So that where's his room? Saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Sure, why not? All right. Uh. Uh, are you going to join Meg and the others? Nah, <clears throat> not high up on my list of things to do. I'm just here to keep them coming. Besides, I'm cutthroat for life, and I got my little buddy here to keep me company. <laughs> uh, let me see here. It sounds like there could be more to it. Eh, this will always be home. I can't leave top of the world. That'd be like betraying David, and we both know that'll never happen. Also, I may have pissed off Meg once or twice back in the day. I mean, probably more, but who's counting, right? Besides, I got the best view in town, and I'm pretty sure that white crap blowing around in the valley would be hell on my filters. I suppose. Um... <clears throat> uh, so after calling the raiders back, you don't want to lead then? Lead? <laughs> no way! Just thinking about that responsibility makes me twitch. I got the band back together to watch, not to manage the tour. Plus, now that they're pouring in, you can bet Appalachia just got a whole lot more entertaining. And I got the best seat in the house. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Well, then let's get to work then. <sighs> back to business, just how I like it. Ready to hop on that trophy and AI program? Let's do it. Uh... One trophy and AM pro, uh, AI program coming up. Ha! I knew I could count on you. And I swear, this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. <clears throat> the shack? Um, so get to David's trophy. Literally, it's just outside. So, hell yeah. I'm down for that. Shouldn't take too much, too long to complete this portion of the quest. Seen as it's literally just right there, you know what I mean? The question is... What's here? Super mutants, scorched, or mole miners? <clears throat> Alright, let's... Oh yeah, I forgot this guy's, uh... Melee. I always forget this guy's a melee. Well, he's melee for now, until I switch him over to a... Automatic build, of course. But that's gonna be a while. Looks like we're going to the same place we've been at before. Ah, we got scorched. Hiya! You know what? I'll take, I'll take both of these actually. Um, right there. Hold on. Teleport. Oh, that was really a teleport. I just kind of landed up there. You die. Don't really want shotgun shells. Uh, where's my marker? It's over here. Hey, I'm not worried about those guys. They can come find me over here. The trophy looks pretty badass. Yeah, shut up. You got this trophy? Pretty cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you mean business. She may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even the Gormons would have killed for that trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy was the biggest symbol of them all. Nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program. Alright. She... It's still... God. That took way too long. And this guy has two... Um, hunting rifles. So let's uh, look for... Some information about... This memorial of his. 
Looks like it's around here somewhere. It's probably downstairs. Is there even a way to go downstairs? Um. Well, let's see if I could win this. Nope. I don't think I'm ever going to win it. Um, can I go in there? I, I mean, I guess, I guess through here. Oh, that was a big ass door literally right there. Um, there's gotta be something around here, dude. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Right here, maybe? Let's go ahead and switch views because I can't see shit, dude. I feel like there should be like a note or something somewhere around here, but I can't seem to find anything. <clears throat> Maybe over here. Oh wait, it's giving me actual markers now. Uh, search David's desk. Uh. Closely examine uh, the drawers. Perception plus eight. You find nothing interesting uh, about the drawers themselves, but you do notice a photo shape uh, taped uh, to the underside of the desktop. Cool. What does that say? I don't know. Let's search the desk normally. No? All right. I think we found it. So read the back of the photo. <clears throat> Would it be under notes? Um, hmm, right there. So let's see. Uh, remember our anniversary? I stole that huge stash, uh, stash of chems, and you found that secluded spot across uh, from Ripper Alley. We spent that entire night under the stairs. Uh, stars, excuse me. I'd never seen you happier. Rest in peace, dear Rosalind. Wherever you uh. Wherever you may be. Aw. Is it gonna update? Um. So where's this AI program? Way over here. Uh, let's go to West Tech. <coughs> and then we'll just go south from there. We should be able to, because West Tech is in a pretty good position. That that other Blood Eagles base or whatever, I'm not sure if that would have been smart to go there because I don't know the surroundings around there. For all we know, the direction we need to go is like surrounded by mountains. And it could also be the possibility here, but I'm pretty sure we could just run straight across. Oh, this guy is fucked. <laughs> I had this I had to witness that. Dumbass Gorch literally just blew up in front of the freaking West Tech with a suicider. Alright, let's uh climb up here and see what we can see from here. Oh actually this is this is perfect. Run hi Oh crap, what the hell just happened? Um My baby. I don't know. That was pretty weird. Oh. I hate it when it hitches like that. <clears throat> the good thing is that we're here. We just gotta be careful. Holy fuck. Uh, no. Uh, I hit the wrong thing. Sorry, little deer. No, I'm not sorry. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Eh, fuck it, I'll take that too. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, dude, this looks sick. I kind of want to take a picture. Alright, let me see here. What does that say? I'm not sure, but... We'll call it right there. Bam! Just like that. Rose's AI program. Ooh, so that's where he's been hiding it. 
And that memorial ain't too shabby, especially since it's David we're talking about here. So now, you'll have to repair that hollow tip, and there's only one place I can think of that may still have a functioning terminal to do it. Canada. It's Solomon's Pond. I know, I know, you're thinking, what's tech like that doing out at such a cutesy little wilderness place? Mm -hmm. Let's just say some seriously intrusive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need. If you say so. Alright, so now we gotta go to Solomon's Pond. That's not Solomon's Pond, is it? I mean, I guess we could run there, right? It's really not that far. Hiya! Ah, get out of the way! Alright, let me see here. It's in this direction. There's a little building in that direction too. I think we're gonna I think we should discover it. Just to discover it. I I I wanna say this is the investigator's cabin, right? I don't know, I could be wrong. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and switch camera views so we can take a look at that sexy body of mine. Cause you know, I'm pretty much all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> no? Nobody says that anymore? Damn it. Um, I just literally just heard somebody yell. I don't know from where to be honest, but alrighty. I want to say this is the investigator's cabin. Pretty confident, actually. Ah! I knew it. Alright, well now that that's discovered, let's go ahead and make our way towards... Salomon's Pound. Luckily, it's pretty much right there. That little grass symbol, I'm pretty sure that's the uh, Solomon's Pond area. So I need to discover it for sure. I gotta be careful here too though because there is a uh, superhuman behemoth here at Solomon's Pond. But I think it's on the other side. I think. Oh look, some floaters. Oh fuck me. Run! I think they explode. Later. Oh shit. Did I not kill him? Oh, I guess I did. Ah! This dude is level 73. Holy shit. Dude, this guy's got rocket power. Look at him. Don't worry. It's a beautiful thing when the, someone's head explodes. Ah! I'm stuck. Alright, so this place is sealed shut. How the hell do I get in there? Um, hmm. There we go. Get in there, damn it. Can I not get in there? Fuck me. I gotta go up the stairs and go all the way around. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and scrap everything. That's it? Sure, why not? Repair ha, uh, terminal. All right, enter password. Do I have the password? Is that what we picked up at that other place? No, find the password. All right, I gotta find the password. Where oh where could this password be? It's gotta be outside. It's literally in the toy. What the fuck? <coughs> Who the fuck are you, Agent Kingston? Kenning. Kenningston? Sure. He's ancient dead as fuck now. Give. I honestly, I hate looting. Uh, in third person. It's so inconsistent, it's not even funny. I'll take that, and that, and that. Thank you very much. And as a matter of fact, while I'm here, I might as well. Scrap everything, you know? <clears throat> uh, active user. Oh, that's why. 
Agent Kenningston. Security level five. Please make a selection. Hollow tape repair. Uh, current uh, readability, 57%. Projected restoration, 100%. Reconstruction needed. True. Uh, current hollow tape will be discarded and a new hollow tape will be issued. Please make a selection. There is nothing to select from besides confirm. So that's what we'll do. Fabricating case, duplicating data, copy complete. Yay. Talk to Rose. That was easy enough. Come on, Rose. I got something to tell you. I got this thing that you needed. So you better be nice to me already, damn it. <clears throat> it's crazy how long the Fast Not Parade's been going on. They extended it for like another week, so it's like pretty much two weeks of non-stop grinding for the most part, you know? It's pretty it's a pretty amazing thing to see. And it's kind of funny though because uh I made like this video where it's just literally just the Fasnap Parade uh, music for 10 minutes straight. It's called Fasnap Parade music 10 minutes straight Fallout 76. And uh it's actually my second most popular video on the channel now. It actually Kind of is doing very well and it's very very surprising because I kind of did it just just because I was bored You know what I mean? And I guess people really really loved it. So it's pretty it's pretty funny All right here. All right, you're back Just when I was starting to get bored too. Hope you managed to repair that old holiday. I did Um, What do you think is on it? First stop, it's a whole lot of crap on David and Rosalind I'm thinking it's like action adventure meets romantic comedy, but not a good romantic comedy, you know? The kind that makes you want to puke. Got it. Second, it's the code I need to unlock some sealed off memory banks that David didn't want me to access, but couldn't bring himself to delete. Um. So why did David block some of your, uh, some access to your memory banks anyways? <laughs> Who knows? Like I said, that guy was sensitive. Not everyone needs a constant reminder of their baggage. Uh, can you tell me more about David and Rosalind? Eh, they were into each other. David was never able to recover her body, so he made the memorial in secret. Didn't really want the others to see him all soft like that. Makes sense. Well, anyways, enough of the chit chat. Here's the AI program, Rose. As usual, so reliable. I love it. I got to admit, I got some pretty mixed feelings on tapping into all these blocked files. On one hand, I'm sure David had his reasons for cutting me off. On the other, I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. Sure. Uh Uh, let me see uh you should take it all in. You deserve to know what he what he blocked. You know, you're right. I definitely deserve to know. Now, just give me a second. I'm Leave curious. Floor, buy my computer. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Talk about some serious drama here. This is some depressing shit. I mean, I knew David never got to say goodbye. But he really did hide what he went through. Uh, you really should talk about it. Uh, what types of memories did you unlock? Ugh, like a soap opera on overdrive. You know, boring stuff that no one cares about. Oh, I don't have charisma plus eight or perception plus four. Oh, I wish I would have been able to learn that. Uh, well, I never thought of David as the boring type. Yeah, you think you know someone, right? No wonder he didn't want me peeking. Guy's got a rep to keep up, so I can't really blame him. Couldn't afford to let anyone think he'd gone soft after losing Rosalind. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, the plan. Let me just run some filters, a little arts and crafts, and... <gasps> Are you kidding me? All this data and I don't have the one word I was looking for? Ugh, okay, hate to break it to you, but I need you to go back out there and find me just one more E 
Teensy Teensy Weezy Hollow Tape. Why am I not surprised? Best bet is Arctos Pharma, David's old corporate stooge job. I need you to find me a hollow tape with David saying the word negotiate. Sure. I'm on it. My hero. Now get out there and don't get yourself killed. Did I just say that? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel like a mom. All right. Let's go ahead and fast travel to Arctos Pharma. Uh, find the hollow tape with the word negotiate. Uh, I should go to my camp first, and then go to Arctos Pharma. That way, I probably I'm probably just gonna run to Arctos Pharma since it's literally just right there, you know. But this man, I can't stand Rose. I'm gonna be honest. Like I like her as a character, but I hate how they how much involved in the story she always is like i like her don't get me wrong but there's it's too much of rose you know what i mean i should probably eat and drink though um aid do i even have anything i have some dog food all right uh well fuck it i'll eat three of them do i have some water Uh, purified water. 47. Yeah, I think I do. I think I have quite a bit of it, actually. Fuck. Um, how do I go there? I think it's faster if I go this way. Yeah, I think this was the best bet. See, this is how I like being in third person. Like, out in the wilderness doing my thing. But once it comes to, like, looting or actually fighting, it kind of it kind of sucks to be in third person, dude. I don't know, I, I don't like being in third person with, uh, in Fallout 76. It just doesn't feel normal. Like, looting, it always feels, like, off-centered. Like, whenever you put your, 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 uh, I guess crosshairs, if you will, on it, it, it always feels off, you know what I mean? Before the A decides to attack me, those things can be brutal. Identified. I mean, you could try to come and attack me, robot. But let's be real here. I definitely wasn't expecting that guy. Ah! I hate those things. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. There you go, little guy. Wait, there's a third one? There's a lot of them. All right, so it's definitely Attention. upstairs. This is now Time travel? Oh, I did. That's amazing. Here, let me take that because I'm probably going to end up being... Well, let me take that pencil because it's got lead. All right, we got to go upstairs, though. <clears throat> Give me that lead. Oh, look, it's another one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who's shooting at me? Screw you, buddy. Damn it. Get away from me. Alright, let me see here. Where could these little robots be? Warning. Hostiles. One's right here. I'll be taking that aluminum. Thank you very much. Can I just jump up there? I can. Uh, but I still have to go higher. Scanning for We literally hostiles. have to go to the roof. Is there somebody else in here? There is. Hello. Ooh, fusion cells. Don't mind if I do. Um. Oh, there goes this guy right here. Oh, good. I just absolutely obliterated you, man. You too, actually. Thank you for shopping at axrus.com. All right, we're in the right floor now. Now we gotta find the right hollow tape. Tessa, I need those reports by three today. Are you ready for the meeting? Nervous as hell, but ready as I'll ever be. I'll be nervous. If I didn't think you could do it, you wouldn't be going. That's oddly reassuring, coming from you. Take it as a compliment. You've got the business sense and legal background to have my job if you wanted it. 
I'd even venture to guess you're recording this very conversation. I will neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> and that is why I have every reason to believe you'll be running this company someday. You're gonna do fine today. See you in an hour. See you there. Hey, is that Tesla from Fallout 4? Eh, nope. All right, board meeting. Damn, he's good. He'll never incriminate himself. This may take a while. These terms are perfectly reasonable. Since when are environmental laws and fair wages ridiculous and absurd? Since they take away 30% of the profits we're set to gain, Lawrence. You can talk to me about fair wages when you give up your bonus. Come on, David. We need to wrap up this deal. Our partners are getting impatient. There has to be room for negotiation here. There it is. I'll be the one who says when it's time to negotiate here. And our partners are only impatient because they need this deal more than us. They just hope we don't realize it. Now go back to your desks and figure out how to get me that 80% or I'll find someone else who can. All right, so we found it, but I want to hear this one too. I know to self. Book tickets to Pleasant Valley. Also, book to DC in case Rita bothers to check up on me. Oh, yeah, and tell Rita to fire that cook, what's her name, because she completely ignored my express distaste of pickles. I'm pretty sure she does it on purpose at this point. <laughs> well, that's interesting. <sighs> Come back here. Oh, man. I'm going to have to take this one out, too. Can I fast travel now? Let's find out. Maybe if we put ourselves in prison, they'll stop looking for us. Leave me alone! I'm in jail already. Damn it! There we go. Oh, oh! Don't don't mind me. Don't mind me with this picture. <laughs> That's funny. We'll see that later. Don't worry. That's actually a pretty cool picture, actually. Once, whenever, whenever we get to that point, I might actually make it my thumbnail. I might actually do that. Alrighty. Are we here? Well, then let's go. Alright. We should have everything we need now to set up a meeting with good old Meg. Come on, baby. All right. Damn it, move. <laughs> Rose, here you go. This better be it. All right. Time to finish this little pet project. Absolutely. Here's the hollow tape. Wait, hold on. Uh, how did David go from corporate executive to cutthroat leader? Leadership skills, charisma. David was a full package, really. Not to mention just a whole lot of tall, dark, and handsome. I think it did him some good to finally blow off some real steam. You know how corporations and their HR are big fans of murder. <laughs> Stupid. Well, here's the holotape. Ooh, I gotta admit, I don't have many files on David and Rosalind talking about their pre-Raider days, so this will be pretty interesting. I'll just give it a quick listen. Yep, sounds like David all right. <sighs> Ruthless even then. Getting back to business, a little slice and dice, some audio love, and voila! Mission accomplished. All you gotta do now is take a quick trip to the nearby relay tower and set up a new transmitter to get this bad boy broadcasting. Will do, ma'am. Uh... Sure, nothing I haven't done before. Oh, yeah. I heard that old Duchess lady's radio signal start up a while back. <laughs> I should have known that was you. Here's the program you'll need to run at the relay tower. Just load it up and follow directions. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, really. And here, as a token of my gratitude, you can have this old holotape back as a souvenir. Good. So now we go to any re relay tower, I'm assuming. Hold on, let's wait till this. All right, there we go. Um, 
Where is the relay tower that it wants us to go to? Oh, right there. I found you. This one has uh, scorched, I think. I'm pretty sure this one has scorched. Pretty confident, as a matter of fact. Nothing I haven't fought before, though, of course. Plus, they're scorched. They're pretty. They're pretty weak, man. Like, they're squishy as hell. You know what I mean? Alright, let's go. I want to say this is the one with scorched. Nope. It's got super mutants. Let's go destroy them real quick. So that we are uninterrupted. Yes, kill. Yes, kill. Where's the dog? What? Who's there? Hi, yeah. Oh, this guy is. Retreat. He's buff. Yes, retreat. Do me a favor. I'll take that just Where so I can just was to uh, destroy it or whatever. I'll take that too. Fuck it. Why not? Oh, look at this. This place was high tech. Question now is there a workbench here? Well, fuck it. Let's do this real quick. Uh, load... What is it called? Hook up holotape. <clears throat> Where could it be? Probably all the way in the bottom, to be honest. Let's go. Let's start from the bottom up. The hook up. There you go. I knew it. Uh, congratulations on not screwing this up. Well, alright then. Now prove you're not a moron and select activate transmitter connection. <laughs> uh, failure to do so means you're an idiot. Hugs, kisses, and chems, rose. Well, all right then. Remote transmitter connected. Beginning recorded message loop. Hey, uh, Meg. Listen up. I'm David fucking Four. Get your ass over here. Top of the world is where it's at. It's time to negotiate, or I will kill every last one of you. Hey, man, listen up. Broadcast loop confirmed. Congratulations. Your transmitter is now connected. Awesome. <laughs> is that great or what? Anyway, confession time. Sure, I could have got Meg out here lickety split. I mean, don't get me wrong, she really ain't my biggest fan, but believe me, this broadcast, way more fun. Now, you probably want to haul ass back to the mess, because uh, something down there is making all the racket, and you're going to want that place nice and tidy for when Meg shows up. Oh, come on, I need, I need more things to get me strong. Um, nothing, huh? I don't even know what that did, to be honest. Uh, wait, I should be able to, I should be able to fast travel. Well, let's try it. Hold on. Um, top of the world. Yeah, alright. Fuck me. I don't want to have to drop it, man. Uh, well, let's drop that. If I take this, will I be fine? There we go. Good thing I have some psycho buff. The thing about that, though, is that I'm pretty stoned right now. That is seriously such an old picture. That was like a thumbnail for the original playthrough I did. Well, actually, the playthrough I did back in the day. Because uh, I did restart it, of course, but... So I guess the original playthrough makes sense here. But, uh... Yeah, the original playthrough that I did, that was the original uh, thumbnail. 
Yeah, that's a pretty good one too, actually. I really like that thumbnail. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and come over here. Observation level. What we need to do is scrap the stuff. Oh wait, no, this isn't it. I have to go to the second level, the mezzanine. <clears throat> so that there's nothing that's gonna prevent me and Meg to make our acquaintance. The crazy thing is that I took buff out and cycle buff. So I'm gonna be like extra strong. Here, check this out. Ah! It's, it's all right, I guess. I, yeah. Oh, you bastard. What the fuck? Just die. Die, please. You mother... Give me that... Give me that ammo. You! How the hell did that miss? You know what? I'll take both of these. And now I'm encumbered again. So let's find... Um... A workbench. There's a full section with workbenches around here somewhere. Here. Let's kill these guys in the meantime. No, come back this way. Alright, fuck it. Weapons, missile launcher. We'll destroy that. 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 And that. Do I have any... No. Alright, that's good enough. Kill, kill all. Yes, kill all. Sure. If you say so. Alright, how many more people are there? Cause I don't really see anybody. Oh, there's one right there. Thanks. You sit your ass down. You don't. sit your ass down. You this motherfucker threw a grenade at me. Oh God, run! All right, let's talk to homeboy. There you go. Ooh. Here, let's go ahead and transfer. Can I learn it from here? No. All right, whatever. Is there anybody else? Oh, right here? Got it. Goodbye. I see you. Would you guys stop hitting me, please? You guys are fucking rude. I'm just trying to off you, man. I see you. Ow. Oh. Here, hold on. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Look at that three over three thousand. It's not bad if I do say so myself. And if I was sneaking, oh my god, it'll be an absolute disaster for him. Oh, there you are. Hi ya. Goodbye. Is that everybody? Hello? Is anybody else around here? I just want to be friends. And murder you. But you know what? It's okay. Tomato, tomato. Nobody? Hello? Anybody? I'm sad. Oh, wait, talk to Meg. It updated. I didn't realize it updated. My bad. Aw, oh, shit. Here, let's put my weapon away. What is she doing? Where is she going? Meg. Stop messing what around. Who is this? Where's Thor? I'm Thorpe, all right? Um, you came to talk, right? You can talk to me. Bullshit. I'm only here for David. If that bastard survived, I want to see him. Now, where is he? Well, my name isn't David, so that's going to be close enough. How about that? Plus, David's not here. I had Rose send the message. Got a problem with that? You got that old diaper pail on your side? Yep. 
So the hell are you? Don't tell me you're one of those worthless settlers. Eh, kind of. Uh, I'm from Vault 76, actually. Holy shit, a vault dweller! Even better. You come scurrying out of your little cubby hole, and you think you can start making demands? Yep. Think again. That's exactly what I think, actually. Uh, if we, if it weren't for Vault 76, you'd have no Appalachia to come back to. Excuse me. Boy, you got some fire in you. I'll give you that. Absolutely. And maybe, maybe we might owe you that. So, 7-6, what's this all about? Well, just wanted to let you know that I have David's trophy. David's trophy, huh? Wow, he must be dead. Return tail if you've managed to get your hands on it. Huh, I take it this means you recognize me as leader around here. Hmm. Kind of. Smart. Looks like you've got yourself a brain after all. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll spare you a minute to tell me what you want before I get back to retaking Appalachia. Well, um, the only thing that matters right now is actually the Scorched Plague. Uh-uh. You don't get to talk to me about that. I'm gonna chop you to pieces. You lost everything to that disease while you were all sitting pretty underground. The plague can be prevented. We need to, we need to get your people inoculated, all right? Inoculation? That's just some bullshit the responders made up to sucker the weak out of their supplies. Nope. Didn't fall for it then? Sure as shit ain't falling for it now. She is hard-headed. Um... Uh, this... It's made of synthetic antibodies from uh, species that display uh, resilience. I tested its efficiency my, uh, myself. E efficient? No, that's not efficiency. E fact. Ah, fuck it. Whatever that word. Efficacy, huh? That shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do know what you're talking about, but I don't know. I got my own straight line solution. Kill them all. Got a raid against a group of scorch going down right now. Why don't you head on over? See a real plan in action. Yeah, it's gonna go bad. Uh, you don't understand how the how infection works. The crew you sent could already be dead. What are you talking about? Think about it. Fighting leads to injuries. Open wounds, for example. Uh, sites for, uh, for bacteria and viruses to enter the body. In other words, if they're getting hurt, they're getting infected. Yeah, so we might lose a couple people. So what? We got numbers. Oh, you're so hard-headed. No! Wait, I think I have Mentats. Come Whoops. back when you can handle the conversation. Um... Do I have Mentats? I mean, I have Psychotats. Uh, this doesn't improve my... Oh, God. Wait, what am I going this way for? Uh, please give me Mentats. Please give me Mentats. Orange Mentats? No, oh, that's Perception. Fuck my life, I don't have Mentats. Great Mentats? No. Well, this gives me... Oh, this is minus intelligence. Shit. Hold on. What effects do I have? Well fed. Well hydrated. Ugh. Uh, special intelligence, 12. I just need literally plus 2 intelligence. Strength, luck, and... Alright, let me go all the way to the top. Uh, intelligence, plus four. Barry Mentats. Fuck yeah. You, talk to me, so, lady. So, now that you recognize me as Lee... Uh, okay, the only thing that matters is the Scorched Plague. The plague In prevents it. Yes, sure, why not? Oh, I know Fuck all. my life. Why don't you take a look yourself? Okay, here you go. Uh, the crew could be already dead. About? Fuck. Oh, I'll take... Head out to their loop. <laughs> Once you got it all right. It's the crater. No, wait, Hold come here. Much longer. There ain't gonna be any scorch left. Fuck. Are you sure you got somewhere to be? <laughs> I fucked it up. I should have taken my time. Oh well. All right. So where's this place? Just do this the old-fashioned way. Um, I don't see it. Check on Abra. Her. 
All right, it's right here. So let's go ahead. Well, we can do this real quick, man. It's literally just gonna be killing them, and then that's it. You know? It sucks. I took the berry mint hats for literally absolutely nothing. Fuck my life. It's all good. We have plenty of time. Plenty of time. As long as this freaking <laughs> loading screen hurries up. There we go. Alright, so where is this? It's going to be over here. Who are you? Sit down. Barry Mentat is pretty freaking cool for the for for what it does, you know what I mean? How it like makes everything purple or pink, whatever around you, all the enemies, like that right there. What is that? Uh, it's a mole rat. Let me go around them, because mole rats are pretty annoying. Well, fuck that. Bet you they're already dead. Look, this guy's, these guys destroyed a freaking uh, Scorch Beast too. Knock, knock. You don't get it. Alright, uh, you're dead. You're dead. I'll take both of those, actually. You're dead. Um. What am I looking at? Do I have to be in here? Trailer interior. Alright, let's see here. Oh, homeboys. Fuck, look at him. Scott's letter? Uh, Dear Peach. I always knew if the apocalypse came, uh, the biggest threat to survival would be other people. These damn raiders uh, have been harassing uh, me left and right. Now the Gormans have started talking to me. There's no way I'm letting anyone cook me up for dinner. Hold up. Uh, I've holed up in this trailer next to some radioactive dump site. I figure the ra uh, rads will keep them away from me and if I die here my body will be too toxic for them to eat even then if they're stupid and eat me anyway I can only hope the radiation in my body would put an end to them I sure wish you were here although uh, you're better off without me you were right to leave uh, back when I was being a self-righteous prick I guess this is my way of saying I'm sorry hopefully somehow you know that I love you, Peach. Scott. Tear. You. Who the hell are you? John Travolta. Um, what happened? The Scorch. They tore us apart. We, uh, had it under control for a while. I thought we were finishing them off. And then more. Out of nowhere. And they just kept coming. Gasp. Well, just letting you know Meg sent me. Well, ain't I flattered. Sure, she ain't gonna be too happy to see those scorch rolled over us like nothing. With my luck, I'm just gonna end up like one of them things. Probably. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. There are solutions. Solutions? <clears throat> yeah, best news I heard all day. You got some cure or something? Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. You can say that. Um. Oh, fuck. There's no cure. Well, what the hell is it then? Do I look like I'm in the mood for bullshit right now? Shit, dude, this guy's fucked. Uh, only death can you can prevent you from becoming a scorched. You want to kill me? Hey, I, I don't think I'm quite ready for drastic measures here. There's no guarantee I'll be one of them. Please, look, I, I'm begging you. Just say you never saw me. No one has to know. And you'll never see me again. Mm. Uh. You won't survive. I'll make this quick and painless, I promise. Quick and painless, huh? You expect me to be thankful for that? No. Yeah. You gotta let me live. Wounds like these, I ain't going anywhere. Just let me die here. And if I turn scorched, I ain't getting out of here anyway. Uh, 
It's a slow and painful process, man. You don't want that, trust me. Jesus, man, I can't barely handle what I'm dealing with now. Fine. Just do it. Just want it to end. I feel bad. <laughs> Not bad enough. <laughs> Alright, let me take that. Uh, and I'll take that pipe revolver or uh, rifle. Alright, let's go. Now we gotta go back to Meg, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, talk to Meg. Oh, at the crater. Alright. Then let's go to the crater. <clears throat> We're literally pretty much at the end of this. Very nice. Now we get to convince her, but I look, homegirl. You need to get inoculated or everyone, not just you, is going to die. Everyone. And counting. All right. If I could move, thank you. All right, let's go. Look at all these raiders around here. The importance of communication. Cool. Another day, another shitty. Shut up, lady. All righty. Let's put this away since we're already in a safe area. Hi, Meg. Look who finally showed up. Where's Aldridge? Well, about that, the party was wiped out. The Scourge uh, are too strong. Uh, Aldridge was the only survivor, but he was infected. I had to put him down. Shit. Aldridge was one of the best. The Scorch wiped out that whole team? Yeah. I wouldn't believe it, but he was late reporting back. So, uh, without inoculation, the Scorch Plague is inevitable. You have the power to save your people from the infection. <sighs> Thought for sure Aldridge and his crew would have beaten him. Never would have imagined they'd end up like one of those things. Well, the threat is real. You need to get your people inoculated. As much as I hate to believe it, you're right. And besides, I made a deal. I'll make the announcement. You hold up your end of the bargain. Be seeing you real soon, 7-6. Good. Hell yeah. Now, Weatherford, you'd think if anyone could finish off the Scorched, it'd be them. Let's see what my, uh... Yeah. Now we're back. Everyone we knew in the area is Purified dead. water, Tesla Scorched, rifle, fusion cell. Alright, nice. But first... Suppressor's machete. Is there... I heard this white stuff's hell on the eyes. Gives you a few ideas. There's no it? bench here, is there? Well, I mean, I guess I... Yeah, I can scrap right here. Good. So let's go ahead and go to weapons, short combat rifle, pipe rifle, Tesla rifle. Good. Now I should be able to move no problem... But, unfortunately, we have reached the end of this video. Uh, we pretty much successfully convinced Meg that the Raiders Fisher need to get inoculated the or they're all going to on. die. So, that's a good thing. And we also did the whole uh, Settlers to get inoculated too. So, now we need to figure out what we're going to do. And it shouldn't be that tough. I think we're supposed to report back to uh, the Overseer. But we'll see. We'll get to that uh, point in the next video. But for now, that does it for this one. Do me a huge favor. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on this uh, uh, on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Deuces.